Welcome back to Triple B Movie Reviews. Jake here with the incredible Little Moldy, the Ed. With our beards. Our beards. And our B movies. Well, the Ed, what do we have today? We have a fantastic movie. Jack Brooks Monster Slayer. say every movie you pick is great. Well, because and, I don't pick stinky movies. <clears throat> I'm almost told you get hell from lying, but you know, let's, ah, roll, let's roll with it. Give us a synopsis okay. or a summary of our movie. This is how it works. It starts out with this guy as a kid. His family is out camping in the woods. Hmm. And there, this monster jumps in and the rest of the family is slaughtered. His dad is the last one to go, tells him to run, and he obviously runs. Uh, then it skips to him as an adult, and he's a plumber, drives an old beat-up van that doesn't run worth a darn, and, and you know, and it's obvious that he's got a lot of self-loathing because of having ran and the rest of his family died. Then he gets into this situation where they're in a monster situation, and uh, pretty well done, by the way. In fact, the whole movie was. And just, it goes from there. He has that moment in his life where he has to, to meet himself and make his decision. I thought it was an excellent, excellent film. So what would be your positives? My positive, I think, is that this was the most best wrapped up story. As far as you got the beginning, it was symmetrical. It all made sense. They explained everything. Even as far as where the evil thing came from and what its history was. I mean, it was just the most well-wrapped up plot of anything I've ever seen. My positives are, I like the guy that played Jack. Yes. Yeah. I thought he did a pretty good job. And he had to like the professor. Robert Engel, or England. England. Yep, he was he was pretty good, um, and I enjoyed the monster. I thought it had kind of a slither quality to it. Have you ever seen Slither? I think it's no, I don't believe I have. Uh, at, at the end, they go in and it's this big monster that kind of absorbs people and kind of. Yeah. Out. I enjoyed their uh, the way they turned the other kids into monsters or zombies with yeah, uh, yeah. sticking it down their throat and pumping them full of whatever it is he had. A lot of weird overtones to that one. Yeah, well, there's some weird stuff in here. Um, and I thought overall, it had good pacing. I mean, there was no point in the movie where you're watching going, uh, we're going to do something? <clears throat> I even yeah, enjoyed no. how they had the backstory of how the the little heart ended up in the box. In yeah, and that was cool because you didn't expect it. All no. of a sudden, he's talking to this old boy in a store buying plumbing parts, and mm -hmm. the guy tells him this little story. Well, and and the old it fits guy into was, this The story. old guy was funny. Like, at one yeah. point, I think he made a comment about, uh, he made me pee myself, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, so, I mean, the characters, the peripheral characters of England and, well, I mean, he was the protagonist or antagonist, which he was good. But uh, the, the plumber guy, and I, I thought overall it was well done. So what was your negative, or what did you not like? <sighs> Ah, I didn't enjoy the whole routine with the girlfriend and the other fella and him trying to make a play, and that, that just didn't do it. I just thought that was, was a missed kind of, opportunity. It was kind of unnecessary. It but that was Because they could have made that into something. That he could have came out and been attacking somebody else and looked up and saw Jack and be like, oh, it's on now. Or, you know, gone after the girlfriend. But once he turned in, yeah, once he turned into a monster, it was just, he yeah, was just another him. person. Yeah. Yeah, but, that, was, that was all you didn't like was the. That was the only thing I can think of right now. Okay. I mean, you got to watch. You know, I watched this a little while back. Yeah. And so I don't remember. I got you. There's going to be details. My on uh, my negatives fall. There's I got a couple of them. First off, I they were trying to play it off like Jack had these personality disorders 
like he was angry and had aggression and was was. I think he had some self loathing kind of time. Kind but of I didn't issues. get that from him. I got the feeling that the movie really played it off more as here's a guy who is a little conflicted, but really just everybody around him is a dumbass. There was some dumbass you know, involved, yes. The people in the because they kept going into a class. They, the whole thing. The centerpiece of where everything happened was this classroom. They doing this. Yeah, classroom. they were doing a, a, a college course, right? Uh, not right, a science college course, mm -hmm. and you know, like he just the girlfriend played off as like a high school student. You she know, was yeah. very immature. The guy that ends up getting kicked, they're hitting the throat, and then even the scene because there's the scene where he's coming up and pushing Jack. Trying right. to tell him, you've got problems, you need to calm down. If he had aggression issues, he'd have beat the crap out of that guy. Or, you know, gone off or something, and he just calmly sits there and calmly takes it. And then punches the guy and throws it once. Yeah, I thought, but, well, I thought that was maybe something I wouldn't do in most situations. Punch the guy in the throat? Yeah, just lost well, but it. if Boom. you had and anger, done. I've been around people that have anger aggressions. You know, usually if you're telling them they've got a problem... They're in your face, and they're going to uh, be ready to fight. And he really hit the guy just to make him shut up. Just have had enough yeah. of you. So I didn't like that. I thought that they could have played his character differently. Either had him be a more aggressive or played it more like he was kind of a loner. You know, Because that's really what came across more. He was a loner who just really didn't deal well with people. Well, I, I like I say, I, I got the, a different impression. That when you looked, when at, he, his, when when you looked the, at his van and kind of how he lived and the people surrounding himself, he just right. didn't have any self-esteem. Self-esteem. That's a good way. That to, was the, because they, of this childhood They played accident. it off like he was aggressive and had anger issues. No, that, you know. So, um, and then the second issue that I had was the same as yours. They didn't, they had this whole interaction between this guy who was trying to be a preppy and trying to steal the girlfriend and the girlfriend never went with him the guy he hits in the throat yeah she was kind of swinging a little bit you know she but was they, thinking about right it. but they never played that off. they never did it yeah they could have they could have done that differently where you know something came out of that and they never did so that would have been my other negative but overall you know i think it, it was a good movie um but you Ah, uh, gee. D this was, like I say, the, the plot impressed me horribly. You know, just because most almost every B-movie you get into different things that just aren't really explained, and sometimes you don't really care. Yeah. But, but well, this one was just... Sometimes that's the fun part, trying to figure out why something happened. Just the, all the acting was good, and, and it was just such a well-wrapped up story. That especially like when they're running from the monster and they're in his van and they're leaving and he hears the same music that that they were that he heard as a child when they were in the camp out before everybody got killed there and that's when he made his turn because they were all like dancing out in the woods. Oh, I, I I'm gonna say two and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was that good. This was a fairly professional job here. I thought the special effects were very professional, and I thought the main character was good. I didn't, I don't know that the storyline was up to snuff, although it wasn't bad. I'm going to give it a two, but only because of the fact that um, there's a lot of missed opportunities. This is one of those where, like, they do director's cuts of movies where the guy goes in, well, I didn't get to do the movie I wanted, and they change it. And, this is one where I think if the director did a recut that kind of touched up some areas, it would, it would not that they do that with B-movies, but if they did, <laughs> this would be one that would benefit from that. So that brings us to the Ed's favorite part of the video. Oh. Oh. The question of the day. So this, okay, this, this movie had uh, Jack Brooks. Mm -hmm. who was by far the centerpiece of the movie. Right, right. What is one of your favorite characters from a B or a horror movie in general? Uh, monster, good guy, bad guy, doesn't matter. Which, what's a favorite? Some movie you watch and you walked away thinking, I wouldn't mind seeing that character in another movie. Oh, gee, there's been lots of them. Uh, 
I'm, I'm trying to think and it's, it's escaping me. Uh, but you know, there's been a lot of those. Um, you and me go first. My, my favorite, I, I guess would have to be the, uh, when we watched the Polonia films, the, uh, I can't think, Van Camp. That would be my He's favorite. always, he's, I, I just I like that guy. I think they, Polonia should have, if he didn't and needs to, if he hasn't, needs to do a, a Ken Van Sant centric film. Just something where he's... Well, that's kind of what Triclops was, really. Kinda. He was more the center of that movie. He was he was still a he was still a co star. Right. And right, I think right, he needs right. to have you know but they yeah, I agree. Ken Van Zant's, you know, gruff kind of, you know Yes. And uh secondary to that is, you know, I would say um the the werewolf character, um the redneck werewolf. I'd like to oh, he was second, good too. And he throw. popped into my mind yeah. too when I was he fishing was for this. Good, yeah. So that being said, two point one or two point two five for the great right, right. board. And we both like Ken Van Zant and Murph Plum. And we can't help it. Yeah. So got anything to go for him? No. All right. I mean as always, if you can't be a redneck, leave a six pack out for him.